Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. Now, with that being said, I want to talk to you guys about a few things happening. We have started to see subtle hints and kind of odd messages being posted over on the deck clock and i outlined this in a recent video i was actually talking to you guys about some of the images that were being um posted on the the deck clock website now beyond this right we know something very big is on its way around the global financial system how do we know this well because the bis has told us this um the imf has told us this the world bank has been telling us this almost every single major player behind the global financial system has been telling us this now they don't just come out and say hey we're going to use xrp we're going to use this we're going to do that no they're not going to they're not going to say that one thing that's clear to me is that we need to decipher what these elites are actually telling us I see so many people in the XRP community and so many people around, you know, crypto say they're not using this because they don't say that they're using that. Or, oh, it's not XRP, it's this, even though it doesn't say anything like that. There's only a few documents out there from the elites that have mentioned specific crypto currencies. XRP, XLM, q and they're mainly the only ones that have been mentioned on a lot of these documents. I keep saying time and time again that you need to be aware of what the elites are doing. Most people out there are going to be taken by storm once we start to see a lot of these things roll out because it's changing money. Money as we know it is changing. And what the debt clock has been telling us is that money's made up. It's fake. We need to go back to gold, silver. And I think that we're starting to kind of see that all aligning, right? We've talked about this in the past that like a, a, a big change is coming, whether it be a gold back system, whether it be, you know, gold, DLT, blockchain, crypto, it does not matter, right? All we need to be aware of is that a major change is coming. DLT is a crucial piece of the puzzle. And it seems as though gold and silver are also a crucial piece of the puzzle. And how do we know this? Well, it's because of what the central banks and the elites have been doing. They're not stockpiling US dollars. No, they're stockpiling gold. They're talking about tapping into DLT. They're talking about tapping into blockchain. We are witnessing a fundamental change around money and the financial system. A change that we haven't seen ever before. A change that is well overdue. But beyond this, the reason why I bring back up the US debt clock images is because we recently seen a new one. Shout out to Ryan Cunningham. He actually sent me this in my messages over on Twitter. And when you see tonight's debt clock image, there is no money left. It's all fake. It's time to return to the gold and silver standard with those assets cataloged on decentralized blockchain. Now, of course, he's talking about XRP here. Um, I don't know, right? I don't know if it's going to be XRP. Um, in terms of like moving all the money or anything like that. I actually, I, I, I've always said it's more of a, a motto than, you know, truth. I don't think XRP is going to move all the money. There's, there's multiple players in this, in, in this space that I think will be part of that facilitation of money. Um, but I don't think that's just going to be XRP. But again, it doesn't have to be all the money that XRP moves. Even small percentages will make those that actually see this and are aware of it very very wealthy but beyond that here is the image right now as you guys do see the switch right the the red and green switch it's it's not highlighted but if we actually look at what happened later on well we actually now see that the green button is lit up meaning the switch has happened now, I don't know if this is on par with the flip the switch narrative or anything like that, but I do think something like that is going to happen where we do see a switch from the old system to the new system. And it could happen in November. I've been talking to you guys about this for a little bit of time. But one thing that I'm aware of is 
the bank crisis. It's not over. This got posted back in July, and it said the coming bank crisis no one is talking about, and this is from Inc.com. Now, they talked about Silicon Valley Bank is nothing compared to what's coming. And they were talking about shrinking office space, which is more so, you know, commercial real estate, the looming liquidity crisis, which yes, liquidity is still constricted today, and also making the switch. Now, as we really kind of look at what's happening behind banks, I've said it time and time again, banks are in a tough spot because whether or not we get out of this without seeing a recession, save for so we, we, we don't see a recession, we bounce back. What's the major lesson here to be learned? One, banks have not learned their lesson since 2008. Two, money, it's a scam. We know that. And three, central banks and bankers are a big problem because they don't, well, I, I shouldn't say that they don't know how to man, manage money. I think that they just choose not to know because these are people that massly print even Janet Yellen, right? Like when we really kind of look at Janet Yellen, these people want to print another 17 or 18 trillion dollars within the next seven years. While we see liquidity constricted, while we see banks, you know, trying to stay afloat, while we see the economy, the worst it's ever been. Like this is a big problem, right? But they don't care. But this is why we need to see some major change because our current system is not working and it hasn't worked for decades ever since we made made the switch from the gold standard so that's why a lot of people think that we're going back in time to the gold standard and i've talked about this how dlt xrp and gold and silver can play their own role um whether it be that or not i still believe that dlt crypto is a crucial piece of this new system we already know that the elites want cbdc's we don't know if we're going to see the CBDC, um, you know, adoption that they want. But if we do, then yes, I think that that could be a success for them specifically. For retail, I don't think that it's a really a big success story because, again, it's a digital currency dominated by the central banks. So what are we really changing at that? Not much. But the reason why I say that a big change is coming for the world of finance is because, well, we know banks are still in a tough spot. Bank of America recently just reported $131.6 billion in unrealized losses on securities in quarter three of this year. Um, at the same time that we're actually seeing the DTCC, which is the, larger, the, the largest mover of securities transactions, 2.3 quadrillion per year, um, announcing that they're tapping into DLT. And what's crazy about that is we actually seen um, a roadmap, shout out to ISO 2022, let's do it, be put out. And it's DTCC DLT based upgrades scheduled to go live this year. Look at this. Let me open this up in a new tab. DTCC launches DLT based upgrade of trade information warehouse for derivatives scheduled to go live in 2023. Big moves are happening behind traditional play uh traditional financial players that are powerhouses in the world of finance and we even see here dtcc will convert its iso 2022 corporate action messaging to the swift sr 20 uh 2023 version of november 19th um 2023 so again november of 2023 this year next month is a big time frame to look at but also we see over here from ISO 2022, let's do it. November 2023, Swift cross-border switch updated. Now includes date next to activation switch. Look at this. So here's the old. And what do you see? This article describes the major changes implied by the regulatory changes, which will become effective globally on November 19th of this year. These changes include the channels Swift Interbank, Swift Score, DTA, Bolero. And uh, this is the old document. And what do you see? Swift activation setting. The Swift 2023 functionality can be activated via a central switch. The new functionality can be switched on and off in the application, allowing to view and test the functionality before the activation date in November of 2023. And over here is no date, Swift CBPR plus activation on. There's no date. Now, and by the way, we have blockchain products on the left. Now what we have is this. This is the new document. We can actually see the full document here. Um, and we have maintaining system configuration. 
November 19th. November 19th is the same date of even the DTCC's um, ISO 22 corporate action messaging as well on Swift. Everything seems to be aligning for November of this year. Even the digital euro, they announced November. Like, what is going on here with November? November seems to be the crucial moment um, around all of this. Now, also, going back to Bank of America, what's funny about this is I just included Bank of America in yesterday's video uh, where we seen Ripple win against the SEC, and I said Bank of America praises Ripple for impact on cross-border payments. This was from four months ago, a report on this. This also comes, you know, roughly almost a year later after, you know, Bank of America said, hey, we'll love to utilize on-demand liquidity if, if the ongoing litigation is resolved with the sec so is now the time for bank of america to tap in since again they're losing a massive amount of money but also we just seen david schwartz and shout out to flip the chain because he's actually quoting that um article but you see david schwartz if the dollar lacks technically we can lose to technical innovation similar to what happened to sony because of digital downloads if people want digital downloads we can't continue like this Banks having to keep money in Nostro and Vostro are, and not using on-demand liquidity is dragging banks into losses and can go bankrupt too. Check this out. The things out of the Fed, the United States has um, geopolitical issues with the popularity of the dollar. And if the dollar lags behind technically, that could become a factor pulling against adoption of the dollar. So I think they're going to be in kind of the position that kind of like uh, what happened to Sony as they watched digital music happen. Like, they're like, we have a solid position here and we could lose it to technological innovations. And we, we would love to sell CDs forever, but you know, if people want digital downloads, then we can't let you know, Apple become, you know, which could be China in the analogy, or, or any of the countries that would like to usurp the US's role. So things out of the Fed, the United States. And there you guys have it, right? As we actually look at the US dollar, a lot of people think that the US dollar is losing on the technical front simply because of technical innovation happening outside of the US. I also think that banks are seeing the the big eye-opening um, efficiency behind crypto and blockchain and DLT, specifically even XRP, right? And remember, XRP through on-demand liquidity and through a lot of the services offered by Ripple, these banks and enterprises, companies, businesses, you name it, all of them could unlock trapped capital they could also unlock a ton of cash flow um and this is like this is money that could come in handy especially for these big banks that are losing money right now while liquidity is still constricted and that's why a lot of people still think that hey banks are still in trouble there's still a crisis brewing behind banks and i also agree like as we really kind of look at banks nothing has improved liquidity I mean, think about it like this. The actual system right now, you have people tapping into 401ks because there's not a lot of money. There's not a lot of you know cash flowing right now um, with individuals out there because you know the cost of living is astronomical. The cost when you go to the grocery store, the cost when you you know tap into the the gas pump, everything around us is increasing in cost. Yet, guess what? The value in our wallets is not increasing. And when you don't have people, you know, tapping into the bank account, maybe they don't have a lot of money coming into the bank account. Well, now you also have the bank's financial obligations that are adding up. Like for example, these unrealized losses, like all of this goes hand in hand. Liquidity is drying up in the bank accounts. And also the financial sector itself, as we know it, has been taking major hits. We also know that a lot of banks have closed their doors this year. Um, and it seems as though liquidity around the banking sector is really not going to improve anytime soon unless they tap into something. And I do think that that is why we're starting to see November being highlighted. I think that they are aware that they need to tap into something. They need to unlock some sort of value. And guess what the best way to do that is? Tapping into blockchain, DLT. And I think that that's why we're starting to see a lot of this go live this year. And remember, right, what we seen was um, a statement regarding institutions. And they said 2023 is the time for them to build. 2024 is the time for everything to go live. And it seems as though everything's really kind of building up to that point. And it seems as though 2023, November, is the big month to watch for. And again, none of this is directly going to Im impact the price. It's what 
steps need to be taken in order for us to actually see utility be shined upon within the space and utility to be actually tapped in so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe turn notifications on if you guys have more free content if you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord in the description below and with that being said guys it's been nick peace out